The transforming growth factor beta family comprises the TGF betas, activins, nodal, bone morphogenic proteins or BMPs, growth and differentiation factors or GDFs, and anti-malarian hormone. A striking feature of the protein sequences of TGF-beta superfamily members is that they contain seven invariant cysteine residues within a mature subunit. Six cysteine residues form three disulfide bonds. All members of the TGF-beta superfamily are synthesized as pre-pro-proteins, which contain a signal peptide, a prodomain, and the mature domain. A proteolytic cleavage site is located between the prodomain and the mature domain. TGF betas and other members of the TGF beta superfamily are synthesized as dimers. The TGF beta propeptide remains bound to the mature TGF beta peptide after the bond between the prodomain and the mature domain has been cleaved. Via a disulfide bond, the latency-associated protein binds to the latent TGF-beta binding protein, LTBP for short. The complex of mature TGF-beta, latency-associated protein, and latent TGF-beta binding protein is deposited in the extracellular matrix. Active TGF-beta is liberated from this complex by a variety of mechanisms or molecules, such as proteolytic cleavage, thrombospondin-1, reactive oxygen species, and low pH. Members of the TGF-beta superfamily bind to two pairs of cellular receptors, referred to as type 1 and type 2. These two structurally similar receptor types are transmembrane serine threonine kinases. After TGF-beta binds to the ectodomains of the two receptor pairs, a stable receptor complex is formed, allowing the type 2 receptor kinase to phosphorylate the cytoplasmic domain of the type 1 receptor. SMADs are proteins that transduce signals from the TGF-beta cell membrane receptors to the nucleus. Three groups of SMADs have been identified, receptor-binding R-SMADs, common SMADs, and inhibitory SMADs. Following receptor activation, R-SMADs are recruited to the receptor complex, primarily via an interaction of the L3 loop of the R-SMAD with the cytoplasmic receptor domain. After R-SMAD binds to the receptor complex, two serine residues in the SXS motif of the R-SMAD are phosphorylated. Subsequently, the R-SMAD is released from the receptor. After release from the receptor, two R-SMADs form a trimeric complex with a common SMAD, SMAD4, in vertebrates. The trimeric complex consisting of two R-SMADs and the common SMAD is shuttled into the nucleus. R-SMADs in the trimeric complex bind to specific sequence motifs in the DNA. At promoter sequences, the SMAD complex interacts with transcription factors, thereby increasing the affinity of DNA binding. The complex of SMADs and transcription factors associates with co-activators or co-repressors. As a result, the transcription of specific target genes is either stimulated or inhibited. TGF-BR2, the gene encoding the TGF-beta type 2 receptor, contains a sequence stretch of 10 consecutive adenine nucleotides. The addition or deletion of an adenine residue in this region renders the encoded receptor truncated and non-functional. Such mutations are frequently found in colon, gastric, and endometrial cancer. Defects in the DNA mismatch repair system are associated with these types of mutation in hereditary non-polyposis colorectal cancer in particular.
In half of pancreatic cancers and one-third of colorectal cancers, both alleles of the SMAD4 gene are lost or inactive. Thus, the SMAD4 gene behaves like a classic tumor suppressor gene. The SMAD4 gene is also mutated in the germline of a subgroup of patients with the hereditary disease familial juvenile polyposis, which predisposes to colorectal cancer.